and welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a dog DIY slash treat making video. And so I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So starting off with DIY number one, this is going to be a leash and treat holder. So basically I just started off with this like octopus looking hook and it's actually copper so I just painted it white. And then my slab of wood, I just grabbed some gold paint and I painted it just to make it shine and pop a little and also go with my room. And then I found this wooden tag which looks so cute and would go perfect with my frame. I just painted it white and then I added just the screws that it came with, the little hook and the tin bucket. And you could actually even use a mason jar, that was the original thing from this video. But I just thought the tin bucket made it look a bit, a bit cuter. And so that's pretty much it. And then you just put your leashes and your treats in there. And yep, it's really cute. Okay, so in DIY number two, you are going to need these six slabs of wood. And I actually found these at Hobby Lobby for about two or three dollars, very inexpensive. And I just used my hot glue gun to glue them together. And also you could just use like regular wood glue. And then I made this shape, you could basically make any shape you want and this is actually going to be like a frame for pictures of the pups and also make sure if you use a glue gun to be really really careful because I burnt my finger pretty bad with this okay so when I finished gluing it down what I went ahead and did was grab some Mod Podge and just cover the whole piece of wood with it and I, I found some scrapbook paper that looked like wood it was darker wood so I went ahead and used that and just covered the whole thing with Mod Podge and just stuck on the scrapbook paper so after I got done gluing what I went ahead and did was just trim off the parts that were extra on there and you want to be careful in this part because you do not want to cut your finger with any of this so if you need an adult to do this please get a help and then I got this other piece of scrapbook paper to place it in the middle and on top of that is where our picture is going to go because this is going to be a picture frame. So I coated it with Mod Podge all over so I could make it shiny and then I got this glass lookalike plastic and I just trimmed it down to size and I placed it on top and making sure my picture was glued in place because this is going to this is kind of going to be like the glass from the picture frame. And then I just did a slight line of glue and then to cover that I just used washi tape all around and this is actually my favorite DIY that I've done ever okay so for the final DIY this is going to be like a homemade treat for your dogs and the first ingredient is just one egg and you want to go ahead and mix one cup of oatmeal and also two tablespoons of peanut butter and I used the crunchy one because that's the only one I had but any peanut butter and then after that you're just going to want to get a red apple and just peel it and also make sure you take out the core and any of the seeds that are left because seeds are really really bad for dogs so you just want to make sure it's the pure apple and then you just want to cut it into thin slices and chop it as fine as you can right here I did it too thick so I went ahead and went back and redid it which turned out better and then I mixed all the ingredients together. Okay, so using these really cute candy molds that are shaped like dog paws, you just want to go ahead and put the mixture in there and just make sure it's well packed. And just let it sit there for a little while. It doesn't take a long time. Just ma you make sure you pat it really well. And then just pop it out. And they actually turned out really, really cute. And afterwards, you're just going to put it in the mold that you're, not the mold, the baking sheet that you're going to do it on. And then bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 or till you know that they're well cooked and that is basically it it's so simple and easy to make and the dogs actually enjoyed it so so much as you can tell here in the video well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you liked it and well i'll see you later alligators bye